a strategy has been worked out to neutralize, paralyze and blacken different sections of Hindu society so that the road is cleared for the forward march of Islamism. Some salient features of this strategy can be outlined as follows. Number one, the concept of secularism, which is enshrined in the constitution of India and which has become the most sacred slogan for all our political parties, should be distorted, misinterpreted and misused to the maximum to block out the least little expression of Hindu culture in the state apparatus and public life of India. Number two, the terms communal and communalism, which have become terms of abuse in India's political parlance, should be carefully cultivated and more and more mystified to malign all those organizations, institutions and parties which do not serve Islamism directly and or indirectly. Number three, the accusation of being fascists and anti-secularists should be hurled at all those individuals and organizations who question the exclusive claims of Islam and its culture, who know and tell the truth about Islamic scripture and history, and who see through the Muslim game of grievances. Number four, all praise and support should be extended to those Hindus who go out of their way to champion Islamic causes national and international, and who see in Islam and its culture those higher values which Islamism claims for them. And number five, all available platforms should be used to defeat and frustrate the emergence of a genuine and positive Indian nationalism by always harping on India's multiracial, multireligious, multilanguage, multinational and multicultural character.